Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are open file. In this class we will be practically learning how to open a file, how to write data into a file, how to create a new file and how to read data from a file and finally how to close a file. So before doing any of this uh, file operations we must create a pointer uh, to the structure which is file here. So file is a predefined structure which is already there in the stdio.h so we are just going to create a pointer to the file structure by doing that we can have uh, the access to all the file operation functions. Friends in this program I am going to show you how to how we can handle the files using the file handling operations. So before doing any of the file related operations we must create a pointer which is of type file to deal with the file related operations. Right. So in this class we will be learning how to open a file. So here fopen is a function which takes two parameters say m and n m is the name of the file which we are going to open and n is the mode in which we are opening it right so if the specified file here is not exist in the disk this function is going to create a new file with this name and there is a function called f close which closes uh, the file from the ram and uh, stores uh, the data which we are written or read from the file back to the hard disk right and there is a function called f get c which is a function which reads a single character from the file specified and f put c which is a function which writes a single character into the specified file right so in this class we are going to do all of this so yes once we once we have created the file related pointer file pointer we can go and start our file opening function f open opens this specified file so i have to tell one thing here i'm going to put the file name angpro.txt which is already uh, which is really there on the hard disk and i'm opening it in the right mode okay first i'll show you uh, the physical location of this file and the file what is there in this inside here so this is my bin directory here I've got that file and pro here it is so it is a text file which is empty now so remember f open will return the pointer it will return the memory address of the first byte in this file so to hold that I will use the fp pointer this will hold the pointer or the memory address of the first location so I need a variable here I'll tell you why and uh, an array of character So you, this string, uh, the name array contains a string, uh, angpro training classes. So using this string, I will take this string and write into the angpro.txt file. So this time I'm not going to accept the string from the user. I'll just use the string. I'll take the string and write into the file, right? So let's go and do that. I'll use the for loop to iterate uh, through this string. So for that I'll initialize the i variable here, sorry, i equals to 0. So now tell me uh, i has to iterate until until the last, until it reaches the last character, right? So how to test for the last character? So how to get the total number of characters? So I'll use the string len function which returns the total number of characters in the specified array or in the specified uh, variable right so n has to iterate until its value remains less than the string length of name and ir i will increment i value every time so once this is done 
I can use the f put c function to write the data into the file. So this also takes two parameters. One, uh, the character that we are going to write into the file and another, the pointer where it has to write, right? So here I'll use the name of i which returns the successive characters every time and the EFP, it returns the memory location where it has, where this character has to be put, right? So EF put C will print, uh, it will write the character, uh, this character, name of I. In the first iteration, this will return name of 0, which is A, and EF put C will write A into the memory specified by EFP. So in the next iteration, EFP points to the next memory location. This will happen automatically. FP pointer will automatically increment itself pointing to the next memory location, right? So once this loop gets over, I'll be successfully return uh, the string into the file. Now let me add a sentence here telling success. Yes. Right, okay, so everything is fine here. Let's go and run this. Oh, before that, let me add the clear screen. CL. Control F9. Oops, so I'm very sorry for this. This should be I, right? I'm extremely sorry for this. Control F9, success. So that we have successfully return the data into the file. Let's go and check that. I mean, opening that file here itself. Open. I need the file and pro.txt. So this is what we have got. So we have successfully returned this string into .txt file, right? So this is what we have done. So now I don't want to write the string which is already there in the variable. This time I'm going to ask the user to input the string. So name char is okay. So here I'll tell the user to enter the name or enter the string. Right, so I need a character array here, he will enter, this will be stored here, right, I will store that, so I'll use get s function to take the string in, control f9, enter the string, hi, you are watching, C programming classes. Yes, it is successfully written. Yes, so let me go and check first. And pro dot C, sorry, dot txt. Yes, can you see this? We have overwritten the content from the file, content in the file, right? How is that happened? So whenever we open the text file, it if we are opening it to the right mode, first the compiler searches for the file. If the file is there, it will open in the writing mode and erases everything what is there earlier. And we will be writing the fresh string into the file. So we cannot append. If we want to append, if we want to uh, join more data into it, we must open it in the A mode, which is append. Now let's run this one more time. So remember the A mode, append mode will append the new string, new data uh, to the existing data, right? Control F9, enter the string. And this is new data success. So let's go and open that and pro.txt. Yes, can you see this? And this is new data. So this is the text attached to the old text, 
I hope you understood this program. So now what I'll do So now I'll show you how to open the file into your console window in the reading mode. So I just want to read whatever is there in acpro.txt. For that I'm using the R mode uh, which will open my file in reading mode. So I don't need this now because we are not going to enter anything. But uh, the only thing is, I'll erase everything out here. Control delete. I don't know. Right. So now this time I will open this file in the reading mode. I'll just read the content, whatever is there in the file. So for that, I'll use f get c function. It takes only the pointer which is pointing to the first byte of this file, uh, which is fp in this case, and it will return the first character or the single character every time. So I will use that single character in the name variable. So I will print the name variable here. Percent %c, comma, name. And this will print a single character at a time. I have to iterate through all the characters in the file, right? For that, first I'll execute this one. And I will put this tech, uh, the whole code inside the while loop, right? And uh, I must have to specify uh, the limit here. So until until the name reaches the last character, until the last until the last character stored in the name, I have to repeat this loop, right? So when name is not equal to okay, when name is not equal. when the variable name is not equal to EOF, repeat this loop. Here I'll put uh, again one more time this function f get c f p. Right? So I'll explain what's happening here. First it will return, it will read the first character from f p and stores in the name variable. So I'll check name is equal to end of file or not. If it is not equal to end of file, EOF means end of file. Uh, if it is not end of file, I'll print that character and again I will read the next character from the file. So FP iterate itself, I mean FP increments itself to the next location and again I'll print that character and every time I check whether the whether the name is equal to end of file or not. If it is not equal, I'll go and iterate this loop again and again. End of file is a character which is there in the angpro.txt in the last position. If that is returned to name variable, I will exit from the loop. Let's go and run. So I've successfully read the data. So hi, you are watching C programming classes and this is new data. So that is what I've got in angpro.txt file. So I hope you understood this program. You just try out this program with different files. Once you've done uh, 10 or 15 programs, you will understand it better. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.